What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Christian Hannah Hoare, and today we're doing, uh, this is really deja vu-ish. Um, a lot of people that have subbed to my channel came through this video I did called Comparing the Halloween Box Sets, where I took the Scream Factory 10-disc set and the Scream Factory, what was it, 15-disc set or whatever it was, the ultimate collector's edition of that, for Halloween. And um, here we are with a situation where we have two... Uh, Friday the 13th collections out. We've got the uh, tin set, as it were, uh, right here. And we have the newly commissioned uh, Friday the 13th Scream Factory box set. And um, let's do a comparison. You know, the thing about this video is, unlike the last one, when I did that comparing this, the sets, both of them were semi-arguably hard to get. Especially the collector set, uh, the Halloween version of this. Um, and their 10 disc set, I had seen it at Walmart at the time. But now we're in a situation where this set just came out. And we're also in a situation where everybody that bought the other set is basically putting these on eBay right now. Um, so let's go through these and let's see which one kind of works for you. Um, so we'll start, how about this? We'll start with the, with the collector's edition that just came out. So obviously um, the price point right now I think is $129 for this collection on Amazon. Amazon. Um, that was the last price I saw. They may bump it back up or bump it back down. But you got all eight, all all the uh, twelve films, excuse me, with a bonus disc in here, and we have a lot of new special features. And I'll whatever's new in here, I'll let you guys know. So uh, after looking at the artwork, uh, we'll go ahead and pull out this first disc for Friday the Thirteenth. Buckle up, guys. This may be a long video. Um, the the thing that you'll notice that's new for this. Um, is the scans so there's a 4k scan of the original camera negative for both the uncut and theatrical cut of friday the 13th and i had actually gone ahead and reversed the art on this I, everybody knows what the opposite artwork is but i really like this artwork i i can't remember which which region got this artwork but this i, I could have sworn i saw like a like a warner brothers home video release back in there or something with this some uh, much more intelligent friday fans can correct me on this but yeah, we have a, the new thing for this is the 4K scans of, of the film, the uncut and cut versions. And a lot of the stuff that's been on previous releases has been added to these two. But the scan is the big thing for part for Friday the 13th Part 1. Um, now we come to Friday the 13th Part 2 in, the new, in this set. And one of the new things on this, besides another 4K scan from the original camera negative is the deleted scenes, the del extended death scenes for part two, excuse me, not necessarily deleted, but extended death scenes for part two. And I think that that was done at such a last minute time that it's not even on the back of here describing the fact that, you know, they have the extra death scenes in here. Now, this was taken from uh, a g the gentleman that worked on this film, a VHS tape that he had that, uh, besides that, everybody thought the, f the footage was gone. But he had it on a VHS tape, and they added it to these discs. Uh, so that is brand new to this set, obviously, which everybody pretty much knows that. And um, it's pretty cool. I, I won't spoil it because I don't want I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it. But a lot of the death scenes in part two were either cut dramatically, and some stuff I just didn't know I was going to see. So it was really cool. It was really cool. So that's on this uh, disc as well. So part three, I actually reversed the art on that too because it had that that uh, vinyl soundtrack art from like that's like a comparison, not a comparison, like a uh, compilation vinyl from back in the day. Again, a 4K scan of the original film negative and a new 3D transfer. So this is new for this release as well that hasn't been done before. Uh, a legitimate Blu-ray 3D. Um, before on the other set, which we'll show you. It's a 3D movie, but it's it's not the kind of 3D where you need to have the TV and stuff. Like I have a Blu-ray, I have a 3D TV, but they don't really make 3D TVs anymore. I don't think it's kind of hard to find those. But the fact is that they did that for this film. And you know, so the new scan for that. Now a lot of the special features with with with, with that kind of go with these movies is going to be on later releases and the bonus disc. So we'll get to that. And next we have the final chapter. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. And again, a 4K scan from the original camera negative. I did pop this one on. 
uh, on my I have a plasma TV and I thought it looked really really good, you know. So some things they added on these that are interesting is audio commentaries with Adam Green, <laughs> and <laughs> you know that's interesting. But I don't know if those were brand new. I think they were on something else in the past per se, but got put on these Blu-rays as well. I can't imagine Screen Factory commissioned Adam Green commentaries for these. Um, but yeah. But the 4K scans stop right here. You know, so next we've got, you know, Friday the 13th Part 5. And there was a lot of, uh, not necessarily uproar, that's not the word I'm looking for, but there was a lot of uh, questioning about the artwork for 5. Now that, from what I understand, is the original theatrical poster art like at the movie theaters, and this was like from, you know, press stuff and maybe newspapers. Now, the artwork that people wanted, I guess, more than anything was that hockey mask, the weird-looking hockey mask with the red glow behind it that you see on all the home video stuff. I think that was just home video art. I don't think that was the original poster arts. Uh, so that's why they probably didn't do that. But there is a new audio commentary with Melanie Kinnaman, Deborah Voorhees, and Tiffany Helm. So there's a brand new commentary on this release right here for Friday for 13th Part 5. Um, next is Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Um, again, we have a brand new commentary for this. A uh, new audio commentary with actors C.J. Graham, Tom Matthews, Vincent, Vincent Guastafaro, Carrie Noonan, and Cynthia Kenea. Uh, it looks like previous audio commentaries by Tom McClellan, et etc. et cetera. Now, a lot of these films that I've talked about, too, all of them before, they have those little mini documentaries that you saw from the previous releases, such as the, you know, I think this one was called Jason's Unlucky Day. Uh, no, New Beginnings, the making of the F Friday the 13th Part 5 and New Beginnings. And those were great, but I remember getting those on the special edition DVDs back in the day. And I loved those. Yeah, Jason's Unlucky Day was on Final Chapter. So there are making ofs, mini making ofs for all these that were ported over here. And I love those. I still find myself watching those all the time. Now, the one thing I'll add about this is um, Screen Factory said they color corrected some of these movies. And I popped on Part 6 to look at it, and I was in love with it. I love the way Part 6 looks on this Blu-ray right here. I like the way it looks previously, but I really like the way the movie looks on this. I don't know if it's necessarily a new scan, per se, but they did say that they color corrected this film. And it looks really good. I like it a lot. Next, we have Friday the 13th Part 7, original art right there. And uh, it looks like some of the a lot of the stuff on this disc is previous release stuff, but... Some of the cast members, such as Kane Hodder, etc., talk about these films in I'm sure in in the in the docu in the in the last disc and stuff because they got new act interviews with Kane and everything, is what I'm getting at. But you know, it looks like we brought over a lot of the commentaries for this Jason's Destroyer, the making of which again those were the little documentaries that were put on the uh, special edition DVDs. Um, here's Jason Takes Manhattan. Again, I popped this one in to look at it. I, I, I put them all in. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to just watch them all yet. And we're going to talk about some, some things that have gone on with this box set real quick as of right now. And then we'll, we'll uh, get into the tin set. But again, this one looked really good. And nothing new on this disc per se. But again, Kane Hodder has new interviews and, and all throughout this. And he, you know he talks about these movies, obviously. Um, so we're going to get into Jason Goes to Hell real quick, but real quick, I want to bring up a few things that um, at the time of this recording, I think there were some issues with some of the discs, and I know that Scream Factory has already said, oh, guys, we're, we're going to investigate and, and figure out what to do. You guys remember when the Halloween box set came out, they they screwed up a, a part of Halloween 4 where the audio got off for a second, and so they issued replacement discs for it. Well, I think the first Friday the 13th, they forgot to add one of the, the the audio tracks. Like they have mono audio and then they do like a DTS 5.1 or something. One of those were missing. And Friday the 13th Part 3, one of the 3D 
sequences in the very beginning, I think with the font logo, it didn't come out correctly or something. It was a ratio thing. I don't really pretend to understand what it was. I popped it on, but I didn't really notice anything blatant to me. But, you know, I'm not a very technical guy, so I don't really understand some of that stuff. And in Jason Goes to Hell, there's a sequence where the one of the uh, waiters that works at the Voorhees Diner gets his hand snapped, and that was not there in this. And I think they're going to correct that and probably issue, you know, new discs for that. But, you know, for Jason Goes to Hell, one good thing about this, and, you know, again, they'll probably do replacement discs and... You know, it'll be interesting to see, like, how this happens if somebody orders their set today and gets, you know, gets it shipped to them. But irregardless, that'll, we'll figure that out, you know. But this has 2K scans of the uh, camera interpositive, and it's uncut and cut versions of the film. And they boosted the uncut footage. They 1080p upscaled it. And, you know, it looks good, you know, but I did notice that that little spot with the guy's arm bending and the bone popping out wasn't wasn't there. But uh, it's got new interviews with Adam Marcus and Kane Hodder on here on on this on this disc. And it's got new optional audio commentaries with Adam Marcus and Peter Brackey. So uh, but yeah, this one looks good, too. And then, like I said, it's two discs in here. So um I don't think this was necessarily the very first way you could see Jason Goes to Hell on rated HD, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, so there's Jason Goes to Hell. And uh, of course, guys, if I don't go over something in complete detail, please drop a comment below, and the community, if this video does well like the last one did, hopefully, we can help build each other up. But Jason X, um, this one has new interviews with producer Sean and Noel Cunningham, Noel's his son. Kane Hodder and Christy Angus. Audio commentaries were reported over again as well. Uh, the Many Lives of Jason Voorhees, the documentary on the history of Jason, by any means necessary, the making of Jason X. And um, I like this movie a lot. I don't want to get into too much of this. You know, this isn't about what movies I like. I like all of them, really. But So, yeah. And as far as the reversible artwork, you can reverse it, and it's got the proper Jason X logo. But on here, they kind of do like that Paramount look logo so now Freddy versus Jason in this set you know they actually went with I think what was the original artwork and there's nothing new on this disc so you know Freddy versus Jason doesn't have anything new as far as I'm aware I think that the El Nino, Nino music video was already released and then here we go, this, the same for Friday the 13th, 2009 in this set. I think it's the same disc. Yes, it's the killer cut disc. So 2009 doesn't have anything new. But then again, I mean, I, I really appreciate the, the, the scan upgrades. Uh, you know, they did 4K scans of 1 through 4. And I can understand them not doing a new scan for Jace Goes to Hell. I mean, Friday, Friday the 13th, 2009, because the movie's... 11 years old, so I don't know if they could improve it any more than they did. And here's the bonus material. And these this is the disc that has, you know, new commentaries and etc., etc. So it's two discs, and these are what they look like on here. So these are all new stuff, you know. Well, it's got new stuff on here. New interviews with composer Harry Manfredini. New location featurettes. It's got a lot of the stuff that we've seen before, too. The Friday 13th Chronicles, Secrets Galore, Behind the Gore, Documentary, Slice and Dice, The Slasher Film Forever, Scream Queens, Horror Heroines Exposed. I think I watched that on YouTube one time. Tales from the Cutting Room, Friday Artifacts and Collectibles, Jason Forever. So there's some really cool stuff on here, and I, I know that, you know... You're going to want to pop on this one because it's got new interviews with Sean and everything on there. And then the Jason Goes to Hell disc has new interviews specifically on here as well. So you're going to want to pop these discs in too if you're a special features guy. And we're going to get into the uh, tin set and talk about that. Because let's say you're wanting to get these movies on Blu-ray and you don't have it yet. You know, we'll talk about these complete collections because you can get the eight disc or you can get the eight film Paramount set, but that's not the complete set. But the other thing that the the 
collector's edition set has is this booklet, which I think Halloween had one as well. And it's a, it's a booklet with pictures and everything, you know, talking about the films. Really nice little book. And uh, it's funny how there are some similarities with, with, with what the tin set did. So that is the collector's edition set. So um, you're going to get some new scans on here. You're going to get new special features on here. You're going to get all your films in individual discs, uh, cases, which is the way a lot of collectors like them. And, you know, um, I, I like the 4K scans. I think they, they look really good on the first four films. Now, part three, part three is not going to look... It's going to look the worst out of the four with the new scans because it was a 3D film. So I don't know what kind of camera it was they used, but it, it just looks... It's, it looks good. It looks good, but it doesn't shine like the final chapter does, for instance, or part one does, or part two, for that matter. But who remembers this? This is the tin set, and I am not getting rid of my tin set. I love my tin set. I'm a collector. So now if you're wanting to maybe look into getting this, we'll look at this because I pretty much have everything in here still the way it is. And, you know, so if you get your tin set and you get it complete... This is what you'll get. You're going to get this book that contains your your discs and your movies, and we'll look at that in a second. You're going to get a pair, two pairs of 3D glasses, which I haven't opened up. You get this You're All Doomed wristband, and you get two things, two more things. You get a Camp Crystal Lake patch, which I have on my jacket, and you get the Crystal Lake Memories book that Peter Brackey wrote and this is a companion to the Big Daddy book which I still recommend getting and I think it's still in print you know you can get this at Barnes and Nobles or you can get it at you know uh, w what have you but this is the book you'll if you want to really get into the nitty gritty about Friday the 13th it chronicalizes everything and every film this book is amazing but the companion version is really charming and I like it and it, it you know you know I don't know you have to if you go on eBay and you want to buy this set you got to make sure it comes with all this stuff because you know it comes with extras so and you still learn about the stuff but it's abridged obviously and then that's your that's your tin box right there so again a companion set of the Chris Lake memories two pairs of glasses a year all doomed wristband a Camp Chris Lake patch, which is on my jacket, which is behind me, but I'm kind of sitting on it, and your booklet of movies. So let's open this up and look. So when you open this up, the first thing you'll see, Friday the 13th, and i got to be honest, I still really like this set. I'll never get rid of it. So there's Friday the 13th Part 1, and that is actually on its own disc. And, you know... So you pull it out right there. And all the discs basically have that kind of font and look to it. So now that you saw that, I'll let you kind of just get the idea. Now this one has basically the same special features as the special edition DVDs. So they have those cool little making ofs for each film. And, uh, well, I think some of them kind of dive into specific things. But they basically all, they all have features that talk about the film. Uh, but they've been released before on this by the time this set was out. Then you have Friday the 13th Part 2. It's on its own disc. Friday the 13th Part 3 is on its own disc. And it says presented in 3D. But it's not the same 3D as the collector's Scream Factory set. That's a Blu-ray 3D. This is the you know little fun glasses 3D. But still, that's in its own case, uh, disc right there. Then you get to the final chapter. And none of these are 4K scans, by the way. They're just, I guess, just 1080p, you know, you know, 1080p, you know, for these. So, but there's the final chapter, which is also on its own disc. And this is where you get into the double movie discs. Friday the 13th, part 5 and part 6 share a disc. And I'll show you that. Part 5 and part 6. And when you put the disc in and you just kind of pick a movie, it'll say part five, part six, you click that, and it'll take you to your menu screen, and then you can play the movie or go to your special features section. And again, those contain 
a, probably a commentary with some of the actors, a cool making of, and Tom McClellan is really good in his, like, he's always open to talk about it. And this one, they, they, I remember they did a making of before Danny Steinman passed away, and it was great, and Reggie the Reckless was in it, and it was funny. So those two share a disc, then you get to part seven and part eight. Again, those two share a disc. And it's the same thing. You get, you get some making ofs in there for each of those films. And part seven has this, I'm obsessed with this thing. They did a, they did a, the truth about telekinesis and they hired some kind of like telekinetic doctor guy to actually talk about telekinesis. Like it's legitimately real. And I, I just love watching that. I don't know why I love it. Then you get to Jason X and Jason goes to hell. Now here's something interesting. I actually still have this. This is the digital code for this set. And if the legend is true, and I can't attest to it because I think these are no longer good. So if anybody pauses this and tries to use it, I just don't think it'll work. The, the legend is that Jason Goes to Hell's digital version was uncut. And that's what I remember hearing. But it's not uncut on the disc. The disc is not uncut, okay? So if you want to watch this movie uncut and you want to have this set, you need to have the DVD, basically, you know. And as you, I told you earlier, Jason Goes to Hell's uncut uh, Scream Factory was missing a, a little portion of it, which I'm sure they're going to end up doing reissued discs. So, you know, but we'll cross that bridge when they announce what they're going to do. So keep your eyes on that. And then Jason X is in here. And, uh, again, same special features that have been ported from the DVDs and stuff should all be on this Nothing new, special feature-wise, on this. Freddy vs. Jason gets his own disc, and I think... Yeah. Freddy vs. Jason gets his own disc. And then the remake. And I do like the artwork that they use in this book. Like I said, I still like this set. I'll never get rid of it. I'm a collector, so why would I, right? And, you know, this one gets its own disc, and I think it's... Yeah, they actually did their own special disc for this, unlike, you know, the Screen Factors had actually reused another disc, but this one looks like they pressed a new disc. And it does have the killer bonus disc DVD. Now, this disc right here is a DVD, and this is from the Crystal Lake to Manhattan set, which I have too. And that has even slightly older little making ofs for the films and things like that, and just the history of Friday the 13th and stuff, and has great little interviews with everybody talking about the series. So that's an old disc, too, that was, I guess, ported over and everything. So you still get an abundance of special features on this set, but you get even more and new commentaries on the Scream Factory set. So when it comes down to it, um, if, you're a collect if you're a Friday the 13th fan and you're looking to get... Uh, the, you want to get the movies on a Blu-ray set. You want to have all of them. And, I mean, you could obviously try to buy them separately. You can get the Paramount Blu-rays for one through four separate. Then you can get Blu-ray double packs for five, six, seven, eight, and individual Blu-rays for the rest. But if you want to get the set, because I think they both are cool, if you're not worried about Jason Gostel uncut, or if you're not worried about 4K scans for the, for the some of them, or really special features, then... You can go ahead and get this set. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this set, um, especially for just casual horror movie fans or if you're not a hardcore Friday the 13th fan, but you like the films, you can go on eBay now and, and get this. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, but if you're a hardcore fan, fan and you want to you wanna have this, the Scream Factory set, because you know it's going to go out of print and then when you decide you really liked it, but you'd want to get it, then you'll pay more, so... You know, you can get either one of these. They're they're both really cool. Now, I like special features. I'm a special feature junkie. I love interviews. I love making of. So, and I love new commentaries. I love commentaries. It's fun to be able to, you know, to quote the great Paul Zamorelli. The commentaries are fun because it's like, what's better than watching the movie while hearing the people who made the movie and were involved in the movie talk about the movie? So, and, you know, and the, and the artwork of this is cool. So I love it. I love it. Now, the, the disc problems with, with you know, um, the missing audio track in here. Now, what I'm saying, missing audio track in there is, like, you can still 
watch the movie perfectly fine, but you have separate audio tracks. You could do a stereo this or a stereo two or stereo five and mono. I think they're just missing one in there. And Jason X, I believe, was missing a bit of audio from a girl's scream in there. So they're going to, again, talk about what they're going to do. But, you know, and I want the replacement disc for Jason Goes to Hell, even though it's a, a little min- minuscule part. But still, I, I still think it's cool to have this set, especially if you're a big fan. So that's the Scream Factory set, and again, the tin set. So I know this is a long video, but hopefully you guys kind of got a grasp of maybe if you're looking into getting something or getting one of these, you know, what you might be interested in. And, of course, if you have any questions, please drop them down below, and I'll, I'll help as best I can. So uh, this is Christian Hannah Horror, and that was the two Friday the 13th complete collections. Um, there's others you can get, the Paramount 8, but these are both complete. So... If you get either one of these, you'll get every Friday the 13th movie in there. So this is, uh, like I said, Christian and Horror. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a long one. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.